All right, let's talk about something a little bit more controversial. RBS CEO Stephen Hester has bowed to public pressure and waived his bonus worth $1.6 billion. The proposed payout for the chief of the majority state-owned bank had drawn widespread criticism at a time when most of the British population is feeling the impact of austerity measures. Meanwhile, a Credit Suisse board member has said that banker bonuses are likely to shrink by half. In an interview with Swiss paper Sontag Zetok Walter Kalzok added that investment bankers are set to be hit hardest and that further job cuts in the Swiss financial sector will likely. Let's get some reaction from Jim Rogers. So, so you're happy to hear that? Listen, finance is going to be a terrible place to be for the next 10 or 15 years. Mm. All these guys getting MBAs and making terrible mistakes because there's not going to be a lot of money in finance. And as far as the guy at RBS, I mean, I'm, I'm glad he didn't get his bonus because it seems to me he's just doing what he's paid to do. Mm. If he really thinks he should get something, he should get options, you know, 10-year options, so that if he does produce something or five-year options, then he can, he can benefit. Mm. But just to get money for coming there and doing what he's those days are over, Christine. Mm. All those guys in the finance who think they need, deserve a big bonus every year, that's finished. That's finished. They're in the wrong field. Hey, Jim, it's Jackie in the Jack States. I don't know if we're exactly finished with the big bonuses, uh, but certainly definitely going to put them on hold for a while. Meantime, I want to get your take uh, when we talk about the conversation in, in Europe a little bit and what Sylvia just talked about. When you look at the states right now, when you look at us domestically, do you agree with some of the analysts uh, and some of the, the others out there who feel we really are decoupling from Europe and that, in fact, 2012 is going to be a year that's really dominated for the domestic markets by U.S. headlines, by growth, uh, by the earnings season that we're seeing and less by these headlines that we're seeing out of Europe. Jackie, there's an election in November of 2012. Every time that there's an election, the government spends and pumps as much money as it can to win the election. It doesn't always work. It didn't work in 2008, but they always do it. So yes, of course, things are going to look and feel better in the United States this year because you've got Bernanke printing money and you've got, uh, what's his name, Obama spending money. Things will feel better. But it's not just in America. There are 40 elections around the world this year, Jackie. And all of the governments are going to be pumping out money. You should worry about next year and the year after. And so you're buying the euro not because you think the eurozone is going to improve. You're buying the euro because the prospects for the U.S. look dim. Is that it? No, I, I, no the, the prospects for the U.S. look better is what I'm saying. The U.S. Okay. Government and when do you start buying the U.S. dollar again? I own the U.S. dollar. No, no, no. I've owned the U.S. dollar for a while. I own the U.S. dollar and I own the euro. The mm -hmm. euro. I, I don't expect the euro to collapse this year. I think that everybody has a big stake in getting through the elections. The whole world does. And so somehow or another, they want to fool all of us saps, get us through the elections, and then they'll say, well, we'll worry about those saps next year.